Hey guys, this is Trace Finicaro. I am the founder of QZIndustries.com, the author of QZ Tray. This is the first in a series of signing tutorials. Uh, signing is our licensing component. It is how we know who's talking to the software. This tutorial is specifically written for premium customers, those who have purchased a certificate and private key off of our portal. Um, it can be adapted for community versions, um, but some of the steps uh, naturally are omitted, such as creating your own certificate and creating your own private key. One of the first dependencies, the prerequisites for this tutorial, is QZ Tray, of course. QZ Tray needs to be installed on the machine that you're using to validate your licensing. Um, in the screenshots, it might look a little bit newer, and that's because I'm running a bleeding edge version of QZ Tray. Uh, by the time you watch this tutorial, it might be the stable version, so I chose it for uh, for this video. So. <laughs> Signing in PHP is composed of two steps, the certificate and the signature. For PHP, we need a backend running, so another prerequisite of this tutorial is PHP. Uh, we are choosing to run that through WAMP um, because this tutorial happens to be uh, written for a Windows machine, although you can apply this to Linux or Mac as well. The steps are nearly identical. Um, just the where we're copying the files to is going to be a little bit different. You can see WAMP is up and running. Um, you might have the default uh, splash page for Apache if you're on Mac or on Linux, and this is the default web root for for WAMP. We're going to be copying our QZ Tray demo folder over. Um, in older versions of QZ Tray, it was under advanced. Um, open the application directory, and in newer versions, it's going to be under a new diagnostics menu. We're going to browse the app folder. Demo is the folder that we're interested in. We're going to make a copy of that. And we're going to copy that folder over to the WAMP directory. By default, the home page for WAMP is located in WAMP uh, or WAMP 64, if you're on 64-bit, www. We're going to go up a directory. This www directory is what we are actually going to be mimicking. So we're going to rename that. And we're going to call demo www. What this will do is it will allow WAMP to see our HTML file. So that we don't have to type in sample each time, I'm going to rename this index.html. And now, if we refresh, you can see that we now have our sample page running inside our Apache instance. Now, the first thing I want to point out here is, right here it says local host. Localhost is the name that we provided inside our sample HTML demo certificate, and you don't want to see that. You're going to want to see your company name here instead. To do that, we need to replace the certificate, and that's the first step, and that's going to be the first step we're going to jump into. So, somewhere you're going to have obtained a certificate and a private key. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a copy of this certificate. And we are going to place it somewhere that's accessible by this HTML page. This certificate can remain public because it's just a certificate. The private key we will put into a different directory so that it's not accessible. So when we open up our sample.html, or in this case index.html, the first step for the certificate is going to be to comment out this, this big certificate here. This is the local host one. We no longer want this. And instead, we're going to use a technique that's right above it. It says preferred method from server. Notice this is using AJAX. AJAX is part of the jQuery library, which we bundle with our demo. If you choose to use something more modern like Fetch, that is supported as well. 
digital certificate is side by side our file so this should be all that's needed to change the name when we initially connect so when we refresh this page now you will see QZ PHP demo wants to connect to QZ tray so that's good the certificates working now this is the part that snags most people when you go to do an action an error message comes up um, in older versions the shield would be red um, and when you actually click on the request details it, it shows an invalid timestamp uh, we've improved that in newer versions now it tells you it's actually an invalid signature um, despite the symptom the problem is the same signing has not been configured for this tutorial we're going to set up signing using PHP and it's about as simple as setting a private key um, and then pointing to that file so the next step is setting up signing is going to require another file that we've downloaded in this case it's the private key now we could place the private key right here next to digital certificate but that would allow anyone browsing um, the web page to guess the location of the private key and steal it and the private key is something we want protected so for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to put the private key outside of the web root. In this case, I'm just going to put it in the root of my hard drive. So now in the root of my hard drive, I have my private key. It's outside of the web root. No, any point, any place on your drive outside of the web root would be fairly safe. Um, I've put it on my hard drive just to make the path a little bit simpler to calculate. Now the next file that we're going to be looking at is our PHP signing example. All of our signing examples are inside assets, signing, and in the case of PHP, it is sign message.php. Now you'll notice there is a path to a private key here. We're going to modify this. So we're going to be going back a few directories, going into a directory called private, and load this private key. Now, since we're already running PHP on our web server, we can actually browse directly to this location. And this is an important troubleshooting technique. Now, right from the get-go, I want to point out something. This is an important part of licensing, and it's this base64 chunk here on the web page. This base64 chunk is our signature, and this is what QZ Troy wants. But there's some other stuff mixed in here, right here. And what this is, is this is part of PHP's erroring system. We've changed the content inside this file to be text plain, so we actually have a harder time reading this message but what essentially it's saying is it's saying that we're trying to load a request and there was nothing there so we're going to add in that request now you could put any request there it's going to sign the request QC tray will handle sending that request and it will also handle uh, retrieving the base 64 data from it but this is what we want in any signing tutorial PHP at, Python, it doesn't matter. You want to be able to get a plain base64 uh, signature in return. And we have that, which is terrific. And it's being generated by the private key that was downloaded from the portal. So the next step is to tell our HTML, um, specifically our JavaScript API inside this HTML file, how to get that to that signature. Now, by default, we resolve a blank signature, and this is what raises the dialogue with QZ Tray. An invalid signature will raise it, or a blank signature will raise it. So, it's very important you have to comment out this blank resolution. Instead, what we want to use is we want to just simply, like we did with a certificate, use an AJAX. Now, the path to this file is right here, so we're actually going to just copy it right out of the address bar. Notice the PHP file extension is here. 
If you're using something for routing your requests, you may be able to remove the PHP, but for a plain PHP install, usually the file extension is PHP so that we've left that. If you notice request, we already have in our example, that's right here. If you decide that you want to change request to another word, you can just make sure to change it in both locations. Also, this is using a GET request. You can also use POST if you wish, just make sure to check your controller and your JavaScript appropriately. So we're going to save this file. We're going to go back to our page. And you can see that the certificate is good, but what about the signature? The signature is not correct. Let's try refreshing the page. Maybe it was cached. There it was. So when I hit the back button, the JavaScript from the previous iteration had loaded. I refreshed the page, it refreshed the JavaScript. And as you can see now, both dialogues come up as trusted. What that means is you can actually click remember this decision. And now as you're using QZ, everything will work without prompt. So that's it. That's the certificate and that's the private key setting up signing using PHP. Uh, this is the first of a series of tutorials. The next one will be using uh, JavaScript on the client side. That's going to be a uh, fan favorite because that actually doesn't require a web controller at all. So it's pretty easy to set up and it's uh, really good for troubleshooting purposes. Um, please feel free to comment on this video with any questions that you have. Um, as always, uh, like and subscribe. And uh, you can always email us, uh, support at qz.io um, for premium customers. And if you're not a premium customer, go to qz.io slash support and you can make a public comment to our mailing list. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. That's it.